He basically just does it all. And he's worked with some of the greats, including Sting and Shaggy. Please welcome down to the circle, Cameron Corday. Yay! 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 Hey, Cameron. Yeah. Come on, shirt. <laughs> you saw us down to the oh, circle. Here. Welcome. Thank you. We're so happy to have you here. Yes. I'm so happy to learn about you. Um, you have uh, worked with so many great people, but you are also a product of an HBCU from right here in Atlanta Morehouse. Yes. Now, how has being part of an HBCU, that cultural history, African-American history, shaped your music? I think from the from the business side, it's really shaped me mm -hmm. mainly because you know when you're when you're at Morehouse, there are a lot of business majors, mm -hmm. a lot of poli sci majors, mm -hmm. um, and there are a lot of music majors. Yes. But uh, sometimes on the musical side, it's directed towards a particular pathway, and I, at least when I was there, it wasn't necessarily a pathway to uh, getting in the industry of right. music. So for me. Uh, being at Morehouse just really made me more focused on having my, my T's crossed and my I's dotted mm -hmm. when it came to the business side of so things. So it taught business. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, you come from a large family, a large musical family. I do too. So what was it like for you guys growing up? Did you guys sing together and did you like act like you were on television shows and stuff like we did? Before? <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, you know, we used to always write songs. Mm -hmm. You know, you write a song about everything. Yes. You know, we would, uh, we would answer uh, if we were called to dinner or something like that and someone would add, say hey you know uh dinner's ready like okay you know everything was always a song um but at the same time like there was a lot of motivation mm -hmm. in-house yes. to be yes. to have comp to be like that uh competitor and, and compete with somebody oh, so yes. it was always a show it was always a competition and that that kind of really helped me have a drive so it was basically lit yeah, yes. down to your house. 24 7. Super fun. Now, in an era where, you know, people can say that the streets say there's a lot of popcorn artists out here, okay, then. Um, <laughs> a lot of goats, okay, then. Okay. But we just saw her get five nominations for being not just a singer, but a complete musician, just like yourself. You are a complete musician. You're a triple threat. You sing, dance, and play music, play, play the guitar. Tell me how important that is in this era right now. How important is that for you as an artist, like when you're on the road and everything? How does that play a role in your life? It plays a huge role from a business standpoint, right? right? Because when you're on the road and you're doing shows, you mm -hmm. never know what's going to happen mm -hmm. when it comes to doing a show. So for me, being able to play the guitar allows me to kind of... Flexibility. Know, it allows me the flexibility. If I need to do a show and, and there's not a lot of uh, bandwidth mm -hmm. and resources, I could just grab the guitar. Talent. Exactly. So mm -hmm. um, I think that it's great that it's, it's getting such uh, the exposure. And I, I thought it was very telling how uh, when her performed, she played the guitar. Mm -hmm. And when Janelle performed, she mm -hmm. played the guitar. So I think it's coming back yes. as a whole. Right. And it also kind of helps people who are unsure on the business side, uh, you know, some people will say something like, I don't get it, or they're looking for a direction uh, mm -hmm. when, it, when it comes to the business side or the label side. So I think if you're a musician and you songwrite, you, you can have a hand in establishing who you are. Right, right? and you're a, pro yes. a prolific songwriter. Let me just yeah. keep saying that. <laughs> yeah, super dope, by yes. the way. But speaking of dope, I mean, we, we cannot dismiss the fact that you just worked with Sting. Uh, yeah. And Shaggy Sting is my, um, my imaginary boyfriend, by the way. <laughs> I can't. So, uh, <laughs> Yeah, so so, so tell, us, tell us what that collaboration was like for you. It was really interesting because I would never have thought that composing some chords on a guitar and, and writing a chorus idea would travel from collaborator to collaborator, end up with Shaggy, you know, and then Shaggy just so happened to be in L.A. and play the song for Sting's manager. Mm, Sting's mm, manager mm. called Sting. And Sting shows up at the studio 45 minutes later to wow. work on the song. So uh, that was great in and of itself. But then for it to be the catalyst of their working relationship mm, mm. and uh, a friendship. You know, it all started with this song, you know, and so then the song grows into the album, and then the album wins a Grammy. Yeah, that's you know, congratulations, yeah. by the way. Congratulations, because yes. that's hard. Yeah. That's yeah. one difference. Congrats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's hard to win a Grammy. It really is. Yeah. It's a, it, it says a lot. 
And uh, speaking of saying a lot, um, my sister went to a concert with the, the, the tour with Sting and Shaggy, and she was backstage, and she was just talking about how, like, how um, meticulous and professional Sting is. So talk to us about how it was working with him, him being a musician, you being a musician and a creative. How was it working with him, and where did you go from there? I mean, he's uh, Sting. So first of all, it was very nerve-wracking. <laughs> sure. I've been playing, you know, for a long time, singing for a long time. Mm -hmm. But when you get a call like, hey, would you like to do some dates with Sting and Shaggy? Ah. And it's just us three and right. Sting oh, on bass God. and yeah. me on guitar. It's like, all right, I have to have, you know, my stuff together, let's exactly. just say. So one thing I could say about both of them is that they are tremendously professional. Mm -hmm. You know, you think about what it means to have a career in the music industry. Mm -hmm. And when I think career, I mean, I think of years. Yes. And this is someone who has a lot of accomplishments, a lot of awards, but still gets up and is very early for everything. Right. Oh, I mean, yeah. the first rehearsal that we had, I think I was maybe five minutes late. And when I walked in, and I thought I was on time, mm -hmm. right? I walked in and they're looking at me like, What's really yeah. going yeah. on? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, my so. gosh. We, we know that the, the sky is limitless for you. Yeah. Yeah. So I can't sure. wait to see what's next for you. Yeah. Cameron, thank you so much for joining us today. We yeah. loved having you. Thank you. For more on this amazing guy, you can follow him at Cameron. Oh.